Hey, welcome back to Stu Man Rides. We're down here at the entrance to turn three, Chuckwalla Valley Raceway, uh, going the counterclockwise direction that is. And we're gonna do another instructional video. This time we're gonna talk about corner entry. All right, so let's talk about corner entry. By the way, if you uh, like my videos, if you've uh, been watching my channel for a little while, make sure you subscribe and uh, it really helps me out. And also, if you would like, you can click that bell icon and you'll be notified when I publish new videos. So let's talk about corner entry. So corner entry is probably the busiest time when you're riding around a racetrack, right? When you're coming into the corner, there's a lot going on, a lot that you gotta get prepared for, and uh, it's one of the most critical areas of the corner. As you approach a corner, you got these braking markers here going down into turn three. You can use those for reference points, right? You wanna have a reference point picked out for where you wanna turn the motorcycle, right? That's gonna set you on your line. The other thing that's important about that reference point is you want to have your speed set by the time you get to that reference point, for the most part. In this particular corner, you're actually going to set your speed a little bit past that. You're probably going to trail break into this corner a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the most part, you want to be close to your entry speed when you get to that turn point. That's your reference point for where that corner is really gonna start, right? So there's a lot that needs to happen before that, right? So when you're coming down the straightaway and you're tucked in, you're on top of the bike, you're trying to get behind the windscreen, you're full throttle going as fast as you can, right? Your head's down behind the bubble. The first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna need to roll off the throttle, right? So you gotta start slowing down for this corner. So the moment you roll off the throttle, it's a really good time to try and set your body position for this corner, right? So when you roll off the throttle, a little bit of the weight comes off of your butt, you get pitched a little bit forward, and it's a good time to actually move your butt over and get set and ready for the corner. You also tend to, when you roll off the throttle, you tend to pop up and sit up a little bit more, get a better vision for the corner, use the air to help slow you down a little bit. So. You're coming into the corner, right when you roll off the throttle, you move your butt over a little bit, get your body position set, you sit up. It's gonna feel a little bit awkward because your butt's off the side of the seat, but your upper body might still be in the middle of the bike because you're still going straight, you're not hanging off just yet, right? So you roll off the throttle, you move your butt, you grab that brake lever, or I should say squeeze the brake lever gently at first, and then ramp up your brake pressure as you're coming in. So once you've slowed the bike a little bit with your braking, then it's time to do your downshifts, right? So you don't want to pop your downshifts the second that you grab that brake. You want to slow the bike down a little bit. You do want to try and get the downshifts done uh, a little ways in advance of your turn point. You don't want to be too rushed with them, right? But at the same time, you don't want to do them too soon and have the thing rev to the moon when you go to downshift, right? So you brake for a little bit, then you downshift, now you're focused on that turn point, right? You're getting close to that. You're looking into the corner before you get to that turn point. And then as you see that turn point in your peripheral vision, you start to turn the bike, right? So turning the bike is simple. Everybody knows you push on the handlebar, the bike leans over. So you put some force into the handlebars to get the bike to lean over. As that bike leans over, you start to put your upper body into the corner, right? So your butt's already in position. You did that back when you rolled off the throttle. Now you put your upper body into the corner and you're looking for that apex reference point, right? Or, or you may have a reference point before that. Uh, but in any case, you're looking for your next reference point. And you're setting the bike on that arc, right? So some corners at this point, you're done with the brakes and you're looking at trying to get back to the throttle. Other corners, you're trail braking it in, so you might still be applying some light brake pressure, holding that brake and setting your speed a little bit deeper as you would into this corner behind me. But in most cases, uh, yeah, you're probably done with your brakes and you're trying to get back on the gas as you approach that apex, 
right? So that's a lot going on. It's a lot happening, but that's the typical sequence of events that's going on when you go to enter a corner. And that sequence is pretty much the same uh, unless maybe you have two corners that are connected or something like that. Uh, two corners in the same direction, you might not be moving your butt for that. Uh, but that sequence is pretty important. And if you kind of get that down and you practice it, then it becomes a lot more natural, right? So we'll go through it one more time really quick. So let's run through that sequence one more time quickly. So you're coming down the straightaway, you're tucked in, heads behind the bubble, you're full throttle, top gear, or however fast you're going, right? You roll off the throttle, and the moment you roll off the throttle, you're setting your body position, your butt is sliding over at the same time, and you're sitting up, right? So you sit up, slide your butt over, and roll off the throttle almost in the same motion, right? You're using that g-force of rolling off the throttle to help you set your body position. So you got your body position set, you're, you're squeezing into the brakes gently, ramping up the brake pressure the, the closer you get to your turn point. You've spotted your turn point and as you approach it, you're getting ready to steer the bike. After you've slowed the bike for a couple seconds, you do your downshifts. Once you get those downshifts done, you should be ready to turn the motorcycle. So right when you get to your turn point, put some pressure on the handlebar to lean the bike over. And as the bike leans over, you put your upper body into the corner. In some corners, you might be still on the brakes. In most corners, you're probably gonna let the brakes go at that point. And then you're gonna try and get back to the gas as quickly as you can. So one of the things to remember about corner entry is corner entry is really about setting up your exit, right? You wanna come off of these corners as fast as you possibly can. So sometimes that means you need to be a little bit patient and a little more controlled with your corner entries. So don't rush your corner entries, right? Give yourself enough time to do the things that you need to do. Save the late braking for when you need to pass someone or if you're trying to really turn, uh, uh, hold somebody off uh, in a race situation, in a qualifying situation, or when you're out in front and you're trying to turn your best lap times, you wanna give yourself a little bit more time to get all of these things accomplished before you get into the corner and have a nice controlled corner entry. Controlled corner entry is gonna to lead to a good exit and a good exit is gonna to lead to a lot more speed on the straightaway that's gonna follow that corner. And that's where your lap times come from. Okay, so let's take a look at this in slow motion. Uh, we're gonna go through the corner entry to turn three, which is the one we were just talking about in the video. Right now we're in the preceding corner, so we're coming through turn four right now. And we're gonna go on to the short straightaway that leads into turn three. So as we come off of this corner, we're gonna bring the bike upright. We're gonna get back into the middle of the seat. As we come on to this straightaway, we're gonna tuck down behind the bubble. And now we're going for corner entry into turn three. So you'll notice right here, I sit up, move my butt over and roll out of the throttle all at the same time then do my downshifts after braking for a little bit. And then as I turn the bike into the corner, I let my upper body settle down in. These two corners right here are in the same direction, so I don't move my butt at all. I just leave it on the left side of the bike. And I come through this corner here. Then as I turn my bike to the other direction, I'll move my butt over and then on to the straightaway we go. So that's what corner entry looks like a little bit slower. Let's take a look at it at real speed into a different corner. So we're going to go with turn 10 now. We're going to go on to the back straight. And again, we're going to get centered on the bike in the middle, tucked down behind the bubble. And you'll notice right when I roll off the gas, move my butt over a little bit, brake for a little bit, do my two downshifts, turn the bike into the corner and allow my upper body to settle as I turn the bike in. We'll take a look at turn three one more time and we'll do it again at full speed. So here we are coming through the preceding corners. We're gonna come off of this corner, get centered up on the bike, tucked in behind the bubble on the short straightaway. And then again, watch is the moment I roll off the throttle, I move my butt over just a little bit, brake for a second or so, do my downshifts. And then as I lean the bike into turn three, I allow my upper body to settle into the corner as well. So hope that helps, talking a little bit about corner entry, give you some things to think about. 
If you like the video, again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me out. Uh, and if you'd like to be notified when new videos are published, click that bell icon and you'll get alerted. So again, thanks a lot for watching Stu Man Rides. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel.